Commander Koenig. Tony, you'd better see this. John, what the hell's going on up there? <laughs> unit to the launch area. Crashing at full to launch area. He's deactivated the remote control. I can't take over. If he hits one of those domes, he could cause a nuclear explosion. No, that will need a specific stimulation with atomic fuel. He's gonna crash. Alan, get over there. Take a couple of nuclear physicists with you, just in case. Alec, Papas. <laughs> Keep your heads out! Big Daddy's coming in! Yeah! John, get out of there! Moonbase Alpha status report. 1912 days since leaving Earth orbit. Dr. Helena Russell recording. Commander Koenig, while piloting Eagle 10, became suddenly irrational and unresponsive. He crashed in the area of the nuclear waste domes.
Lucky. Will he be okay? He's got severe concussion. It's a feedback complex, Maya. It takes brain impulses, modifies them, feeds it back into the brain. It's like a brain massage. Electronic. It is still experimental. And you don't know the side effects. Is it worth the risk? If I don't take the risk. What happened to him up there? I don't know. Tony, I have something on the screen. I'm on my way, sir. Hang in there, John. Come on, Maya. What is it? It's too far away to tell. Maya? Sensors pick up configuration of a spaceship. Range? 90,210,000 miles. Heading? Directly at us. Center. Helena, how long before I can talk to John? Fifteen minutes at the earliest. He's linked to that brain complex, Tony. I don't dare break the sequence. Okay, thanks. Even at the speed of light, it would take that spacecraft almost an hour to reach Alpha. What happened to the monitoring crew that went out to the nuclear waste area? They're on their way back to report. Tony! Range 40 million miles. It's impossible. That means it's exceeding the speed of light. 32 million miles. Well, we're lucky. Damage to that nuclear dome was minimal. Yeah, not a trace of radiation, Lee. The nuclear waste area is stable. Yeah, it's going to stay that way, too, for centuries, unless some fool drills a hot plutonium magnified right domes. Alan, what do you make of that thing? It's a super swift. No, it can't be. <sighs> but it is, I tell you. A super swift never got off the drawing board. No, not before we left Earth. But things have changed. Physics hasn't changed. That thing is traveling faster than the speed of light. Sure in hell looks like the drawings are super swift. It seems like human technology to me. It could be from Earth. Now, whatever that thing is out there, let's not get sentimental about it. Tony, it's moving into land. Weapon section, arm all lasers. Alpha to spaceship. Identify yourself. Repeat, identify. Moonbase Alpha to spaceship. Identify yourself. Repeat, identify. Tony, they're trying to come through. Brother. 
It's my brother Guido. shot in the crater is 1,600 yards. <laughs> How's your handicap? <laughs> sister, right? No. Oh, his daughter? No. I know you're his grandmother. No. Oh, boy, I guess that only means you're going to tell me what I'm afraid you're going to tell me. Yes, I'm his fiance. Well done, sport. Wonderful. Did you make that physiotherapy major? Oh, without your coaching, it was difficult. But I made it. Okay, well, uh, listen, I got, I got a lot of stiff tendons all around here, you know. All around here. <laughs> you got it, Calvin. You got it, Calvin. Word for word. Hey, hold it. Listen, listen. Hold it. Hold it, everybody. Come on. All right. Now, listen. You're just try and contain yourselves for a little while. You've all naturally got thousands of things you want to know. You bet you tens of thousands. Yeah, okay, how are things back on Earth? Yeah, how are things yeah, back on the, Earth? The time it took us to get here, how we finally made it. When are we going to get back? Yes, yeah, when are we going to get back? back? And when yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah, get yeah. back to Earth. All the whys and the wherefores. Now, look, just give us a minute or two to get our breath back, and then we'll have a nice, relaxed session. We'll answer all your questions, everything you want to know. Okay, everybody, all thank right. you very much. Well done, well done. Well done. Nice. Right. <laughs> what is that? Come on, I'll introduce you. Maya, this is my brother, Guido. I'm his elder brother and his smarter brother. And his handsome brother. In every other way, he's a poor second. Put it there, old buddy. Certainly, old buddy. Is it always like this between you? No, no. I usually dominate him effortlessly. Oh, he has to have his little fantasies. It comes from the fact that I always stole his girls. That's because he could never get any of his own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I'll introduce you. <laughs> Helena, <laughs> this is Peter Rockwell. Hello, how are you? He's a pilot. We were going to get married when my tour of duty on Alpha ended. I've heard a lot about you. I thought I'd lost it for good. Never underestimate the extent of human inventiveness. You always did take that view. You knew each other before? Dr. Shaw was my tutor at medical college. He taught me everything there is to know about being a doctor. Um, what do you do, Guido? He's a cab driver. I captain the Super Swift that brought us here. It's a miracle anybody made it. How did you attain a speed faster than light? Um, a little old Earth has progressed, you see. Um, physics came up with a new wrinkle. We can now make loops in the continuum. No, don't let him fool you, Maya. He hasn't got the faintest idea what he's talking about. Yeah, it was Reinhardt who made the breakthrough at Cambridge. Cambridge, England. Massachusetts. It means we can travel anywhere in the universe now. The journey back to Earth, 
It's just a bus ride in Earth time. We're just the scouting party. The big transporters will be along soon, and then it's goodbye moon for everyone. Oh, I can't wait. Maya? She'll be all right. How's Mama? You know, Mama, she's making you a mound of pasta the size of Vesuvius. <laughs> and the sauce. I know, I know. Everything in it but holy water. How did she take it when the news broke that we'd blown out? Three days of weeping, and then two weeks of phoning the White House to demand action. <laughs> oh, boy, that's Mama. And then she finally decided simply not to believe it. The scientists were talking out of their navel as usual. It was simply a matter of time. And Papa? He went quiet. And he got thin. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, I understand. <laughs> for a long time now. And where did you meet? Oh, uh, it was at somebody's party. You look a little lost. Can I help you? <laughs> Perhaps later. <laughs> been looking for John ever since she got here. She knew him before I did. Does that give her territorial rights? Well, you know Diana Morris. She's like the 5th Cavalry. Wherever she plants her flag is home. Oh, well, I think I'll just leave you to it. Well, thanks a lot. Helena, darling, we haven't had a proper little chat. No, we haven't, Diana, but there's lots of time for that. Oh, you poor dear. It must have been terrible here. It's obviously been awfully wearing. I think space is generally very hard on women. How long is it that you've been, uh, what is it, uh, navigating officer? Still, there's something to be said for a marooned society. It does limit men's choices. And the women's opportunities. I've always made my own opportunities. <laughs> there are some of us who still prefer them to come to us. Hey, Clive, you're always with the camera, huh? Is there anything you don't get on tape? This is for the record. And this little baby's watching history being made. It's only one thing, Clive. Oh, what's that? You won't get to be in the picture. How do you get along with John Koenig? Well, in a small community, uh, everyone has to get along with everybody else. Cozy. Isn't it? Do you, uh, find him interesting? He's everything you said he was. I'm glad you can second my opinion. As a matter of fact, he's much more than you said he was. There are depths to him that I'm sure you never found out about. I must look for them at once. Where is he? At the moment, he is linked to an Ellendorf autographic brain complex. Oh, very wise of you, darling.
This is a medical monitor. Now, these are strategically placed so that from anywhere on Alpha we can keep a check on our patients. That's a good rational setup. Hey, why don't we get out of this heavy traffic, huh? I know a nice, cozy spot. If you wouldn't mind, Ben, I have some very important questions that I want to put to Louisa, you know, about the shape of things back on Earth, the configuration of the modern female form. Right down. Helen, darling, where have you got John on this brain machine? I'm dying to see him. Can't I see him? Please, I know he's longing to see me. <laughs> John. That's one was trying to kill Coney. It's all right. The cycle's completed. If it had happened earlier... Michael. What happened? Are you all right? What I'll tell you what happened. Wait a minute, Ben. Ben, now just take it easy. Kill Coney, I have to kill Coney. He'll destroy us. All right. He'll destroy us. Here we go. Here we go. Easy. Oh. 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 <laughs> what about fashions? What does everybody wear? Well, there is a lot of silver about. Necklines tend to be a little lower. Skirts tend to be a little higher. Now, where do you think you're going? Well, I... I didn't want to disturb the big reunion. What are you talking about? Well, I... I don't want to disturb everybody. <laughs> oh, don't be so ridiculous. You couldn't disturb anybody. Now, come on. No, no. Please, Tony. Um, I've got to check some computers. Maya. My number three. What the hell are you doing? Hey, 
Greta. What I want to know is what kind of propulsion you use to boost you past the speed of light. It's a development of the ion rocket. Look, I always knew you were naive. Me? Naive? Yeah. But I never knew you were shy before. I do love your makeup. <clears throat> uh, Diana, this is Maya. How do you do? Maya is a psychon. Uh, she's the last of her species. I'm not surprised. Tell me, how do you manage mm, to keep so fit up here? Well, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We manage. Oh, do you jog? What? Jog. Oh. I do think exercise is so important to a man, don't you? Yeah, I couldn't survive without it. I mean, I think it's so important to his physical well-being. Maya! I do a little yoga myself. You can get into some lovely positions. What happened to the Commando on the Eagle? Do you suppose it could have anything to do with Sandstrom going berserk? In what way? Well, could it be infectious? Contagious? I found no evidence of virus or bacteria in John's blood samples. How do you feel? You tell me. You look great to me. You're fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get this off of you. Come on. OK. Gently. Oh. What? Yeah. Eagle 10. Total. What happened, John? How long was I out? Just over five hours. Five hours? You're lucky. Your skull took quite a bang. Without this complex, it could have been weeks. John, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? Everyone must have seen what happened. Rocket malfunction. That's what it was, wasn't it? The investigation crew found no evidence of rocket malfunction. That means pilot error. That's terrific. John, it wasn't pilot error. We don't know what happened. You seem to have lost control of yourself. I don't remember anything other than going out to check that, that neutron count. John. A rescue expedition has landed here on Alpha from Earth. What? From Earth. They came in a Super Swift. Super Swift? Tony's brother, Guido, captained it. And Dr. Shaw is here. Dr. Shaw? You remember Dr. Shaw. I've told you all about Dr. Shaw. Of course, I remember Dr. Shaw. Very, very well indeed. And San's fiance, Peter. San's fiance. And Professor Hunter. Professor Hunter? And, uh, <laughs> Diana Morris. Diana Morris. Well, well. Now, Helena, please don't even joke about that barracuda. Only you're not joking. Oh. You really mean it. You mean they... Somehow something worked. Yes. You mean they got it licked. <laughs> They're really here. Yes. How we can get back to Earth. Yes. Oh, Helena. Oh, yes, Helena. Yes, Helena. Yes, yes, yes. Helena. Oh. Okay, now give it the name. Give it the name. Yeah, all right. Give it the name. Uh, yeah. Keep the arms straight. Yeah. Keep the arms straight and then get your eye on the ball. 
I didn't know you had such a big thing going with Diana Mark. Well, I didn't want to bore you with my romantic past. I wouldn't have thought she was your type. We were childhood sweethearts. Oh, Diana Morris was never a charm. Would you believe we met in the jazz ballet group at MIT? Oh, you liar. I'm not a liar. The commander's on his way. <laughs> oh! Hey, John. John. Good to see you back. Good, John. Oh, boy. Nice to see you. John! Darling! Don't come near me. Stay with me. John? It's my brother, Guido. What's the matter, John? This is Guido, my brother. Are you all right? Stay back. Don't come near me. What's the matter, John? Helen, what's the matter with you? Tony. Helena. Maya, what's the matter with you? What's wrong with him? It's fine. Well, he's as erratic as he was up in the Eagle. John, they're friends. Toby. They're not your friends. They're, they're horrible. Ugly, hideous. Take it easy, John. It's all right. Listen, Tony. Hey, just calm down. Okay. Listen, wait a minute. Listen on, to me. You'll be all right. Listen to me. You just calm Tony. down. Tony. John. Clear the command center. John. Oh, stay behind me. Stay behind me. Status report, supplemental. John Koenig continues his odd behavior. He has no awareness that he acted strangely just before his crash. With great reluctance, I've put him in restraint. Gotta get out of here, out of here. Things to be done, answers, answers. Gotta find answers to be found. John, take it easy, it's all right. Danger, danger, the entire base, it's in danger. Helena, can't you do People. something? Everybody I'm in the base. Crying, Tony. His blood Danger. pressure's up. His adrenaline level is very high. Gotta get out. Gotta get out. Helena! Yes, John. Now, please, just take it easy. Those things out there, what are they? What do they want? Uh, John, will you listen to me? Those are people out there from Earth. Now, you know some of them. They've come to take us home. They're not people! Are you blind? John, please trust us. Why can't you see what you've got out there? Dr. Shaw, would you please assist me? Get that out of here! Get that out of here! Get that out of here! Get it out of here! Get it out of here! I'm sorry, Dr. Shaw. Of course, help me. He's the last man I would have expected to flip out. Tony, Helena, let me out of here, please. I've got to get out of here. I've got... No, Helena, don't! Don't! Please! No. You didn't let Ben Vincent out of your range. Koning would be dead now. 
he interfered. He escaped the eagle crash we arranged, and now this. Huh. He's hard to kill, this John Koenig. We can arrange to control him. Why fear him? He is a strong leader. His mind is no longer under our control. Something has interfered. He's in position now. There is resistance. I need help. Helena, could that medical apparatus have aggravated his condition? The complex was tested extensively. Ellendorf's results were quite impressive. I just don't know, Tony. Just cave in, not John Koenig. Maya, we've got trouble in the records lab. But how do you explain that wild ride of his on Eagle 10? And his claim that Guido and the others are monsters? Tony, I'm at the records lab. We have an emergency. Concentrate on candor. What's happening? Candor's trapped inside. Stand back. I blast it open. Alan, wait! The emergency oxygen supply, he's got it full on. May I blow the whole place to pieces? Oxygen. Tony, I can get you through the air vent. Dead. 
Tony. We're sorry about this tragedy you just had. I know this isn't the time to talk about other matters, but we're rapidly getting out of the range of Earth. And if we're going to get you all home, we have to address ourselves to the problem. There's a pilot ship that'll go back first. There'd be room for three people on it. If there's anyone you'd like to suggest, Tony, we should get to it as soon as possible. Yeah, okay. All right, everybody, this is it. You ready? Oh, I think I'm more nervous than anybody. seem rational to you? Yes. Fine. Now, will you believe that when I look at our friends from Earth, I don't see what you see? What do you see? Something hideous. Something ugly and horrendous and hostile and deadly. Now, please listen to me. Please listen to me. Look, please let me get out of here! No, please, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Please, please don't do that. Don't do that. Look. Don't you find it very strange that all the personnel on the rescue ship are people you know? I mean, close relatives and friends. What do you think the odds are against that? Aren't they pretty heavy? Not really. They're all volunteers, John. They specifically asked to come. Fine. Okay, fine. What about the pilot ship? You said you drew lots to see who'd go first. Yes. That Ehrlich, Bartlett, and Allen were the winners. That's right. Now, don't you find that strange? The three men chosen are members of the radioactive monitoring team? Isn't that strange? John, I drew the names. What's the matter with you? Can't you see you're being manipulated? What's happened to your instincts? Why won't you listen to me? You're all blind! Hey, all systems are go here. What's the holdup, Alpha? Tony, the pilot ship is ready for liftoff. Oh, Tony, don't. Don't let them go. Don't let them go, please. Helena, don't let them go. Don't, no, no, don't let them go.
Did you ever see such a beautiful sight? It's incredible. It's only been a few hours, hasn't it? Or has it? Well, that's what they said the breakthrough they made was all about time. <laughs> Don't you go away, Blue Eyes. I gotta tell the guys back on Alpha about this. Hey, you guys. It's beautiful. Look, it's beautiful. Maybe this will convince John, now that somebody's actually seen Earth again. Are you all right? Oh, terrific. What the hell happened? I hit him with my stick. <laughs> <laughs>